What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be answering a question that I got a few days ago about what has my experience with the Gustavus baseball program been like so far? I'm going to break this up into four categories, team environment, coaches, fall season, and then the facilities that we have here at Gustavus. So we'll get right into it. Number one, the team environment. So when I showed up here, I was hoping for First off, we have the team environment. The team environment here is very competitive, but it's also very productive. And by that, I mean every single guy that's here wants to become the best baseball player they can be. But in addition to that, they create a really, uh, a really like powerful environment that's really conducive to you growing too. Um, I'll include a few videos of what our velo days are like here at Gustavus. Let's go, Meth. Yeah! Come on, Mitch. Yeah! We just started our off-season program about four to five weeks ago. So now we're all fully ramped up and now we're getting into our VLO days and it gets, it's a lot of fun to be a part of. And I'm really grateful and really fortunate to be a part of this group of guys where they're not only pushing me to get better, but just everyone is pushing each other to reach their maximum potential because our ultimate goal is to win a lot of games come the season. So very grateful for that. And then in addition to that, like the team environment off the field is also very, it's very close. Like regardless of what grade you're in, everyone on the team is close. Everyone's there for each other. On the weekends, there's, a, there's two baseball houses. So they usually host guys. So we hang out there on the weekends sometimes. And yeah, it's just a very close knit group of guys, partially for that reason that I talked about before. Just, we all have the same goal and that same goal is really brings us all together. And it's really fun for me to be a part of and very grateful for it. Number two is the coaches. So I've known the coaches here for a few years now. I played with Coach Woyas and Coach Moore um, when I was a junior in high school, the junior summer. So I got to know them that way. A very, very good group of coaches. They're very, they know each other very well. And, and I think the biggest thing, um, really for any group of coaches, but specifically this Gustavus group of coaches, is that they're honest with you. As a player, like, at least me personally, I want to know exactly what I need to improve to give myself the best shot to play. And that is what they do. Um, whether that's during practice, like they're not going to chew you out, but if there's something that they see, they're going to pull you off to the side and they're going to talk to you about it. Or at the very least after practice, they're going to tell you what you need to fix so that you can keep working on those things to make a good impression. Um, and then one thing that really stood out to me and that I think is really important is that they're open and they're honest to the whole team. Um, and by that, I mean like there's no, they don't try to sugarcoat anything when it comes to like who the depth chart and at the end of the fall season, they wrote down, they made a depth chart with every single position, pitchers included, and they put it out for the whole team to see just so everyone saw like where the coaches heads are at and where everyone stands. Um, and honestly, it was something that I wasn't sure like how it would go over with the whole team, but it's completely like we all, we all understand like the best guys are gonna be the best guys and we want the best guys out there because that's gonna give us the best chance to win. Um, so I thought that was something very important. You know, they're honest and they're open about it with the whole team. Um, in addition to that, they do an exit meeting with every single player after the fall season's done, just so you know. And um, Jeff Baker does an amazing job. Like he wrote us all notes about what we could do, like different drills we can do, but also just what he sees with our swings. Um, yeah, there's exit meetings for every player on the team just so they understand what they need to improve over the winter time, which is especially important at a D3 school because really your coaches can't work with you um, for that like three to four month period from the end of the fall season to the beginning of the winter season in February um, or beginning of really the regular season in February. So that's really important. The coaches here do an awesome job. They're honest. They're upfront, they want you to get better, and they're gonna show you how to get better too. So, huge plus. And then, now I'll talk about the fall season. So the fall season here at Gustavus, um, everyone shows up at the beginning of school. I know some schools, depending on what division you're in, they might have you show up a little early to start fall practice. But here at Gustavus, we start the fall season, at least this year. We started the fall season 
the week, the second week of school. So they gave us a week to kind of get acclimated to the school and just being a college student. And then the next week is when we started fall practice. We had fall practice for about five weeks and it was five weeks of we'd practice three times a week. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then, our, sorry, Monday and Wednesday we'd have practice. And then Friday, Saturday, um, Friday and Saturday we'd play scrimmages and Sunday we would have off. So three practices a week and two scrimmages. It was very, very manageable, like schoolwork wise, fine. Um, you, could, you could lift during the fall season, which was very nice and like not be super gassed and you'd be ready to compete in those Friday, Saturday games. Um, practices consist of, you're doing on-field BP. We have different groups. So you're doing on-field BP, you're either shagging, um, they do PFPs with the pitchers and then they do IO. Um, there's batting cages with like a pitching machine next to the field. So if you're not hitting on the field, you might be in the cages off to the side doing machine work in there or hitting flips or BP, whatever the coaches have planned for that day. Um, yeah, and then, so that was for five weeks. We played a total of, I think it was 12 scrimmages. And then at the very end of the fall season on homecoming weekend, we have end of season like series. So we games and they won, th won three, tied one, and then we tied another one. Um, so what's most important about the fall season is, and the coaches were reiterating this almost every single, pretty much every single day, is just this idea, right, that you're making an impression with everything you do on the field during practice and in the games. Um, and, you know, every guy is obviously thinking about that. And I'm sure any, like, just like anywhere, there's tension between on the field and with the guys just because, right, everyone wants to put their best foot forward. But at the same time, the environment during the fall games is so much fun. Like we're just out there competing and trying to get better. It's a, there's kind of an excited, an excited energy in the air. It's exciting just because, right, like this is the beginning of the year. We're seeing what we got as a team and it's just a lot of fun. And you get to know your freshman teammates a lot too during that time. Now, number four, which in Minnesota is, or just anywhere in the Midwest, I'd say especially Minnesota is huge, is your facilities. So that's one thing that Gustavus, I believe we're, we are super blessed to have what we have because for one, the weight room is brand new. It's got everything you need to lift. So whether that's like banded stuff or um, like they don't have the Swiss bars, but uh, safety bars for any kind of like Hatfield stuff you need to do, they've got it. Um, but even if you don't want to go there, we have a facility called the, that's not a five. 507, the 507 Academy. Um, so this is down the road from Gustavus. It's on Third Street in St. Peter, which is like, you know, it's a five minute drive maybe. And this is really nice because they have three cages, they have a weight, they have a weight room, and then they also just have all the plyos, um, bands, shoulder tube, anything you need to throw, hit. They have a pitching machine, which a lot of us have been using this off season. Um, so that's a huge, huge piece of the facilities here that isn't technically a part of the Gustavus campus, but it's $25 during the off season for the whole off season for the guys to use. So very, very clutch because like, you're gonna go there and hit, you can hit at Gustavus too in this area called the blue. The blue is right next to the basketball, like uh, the basketball court. And you can like drop down the nets and we have, I think two K, yeah, two cages in there that you can swing in. But if you don't want to do that, which oftentimes we'll throw in there because you can play like long toss into the, um, into the big like screens you can throw into. But if you don't want to do that, you can go to the 507 and the 507 has everything you need. The only thing is that during the off season, um, the hours are usually in the morning. And then during the afternoon, you can come like early afternoon, but then from like four to seven, usually it's booked because the 507 has teams and like an academy. So they have, whenever they have practice, um, the guys here just can't go. We go after, we go before. Yeah, that's basically the rundown. Um, the coaches, the team environment, just think especially at the D3 level, what they have here is really, really special. The coaches wanna be great, the players wanna be great. And because of that, the training environment's just electric. It's so much fun. I've made so many great friends and like teammates here in the past few months. And I'm really looking forward to this season and really the next four years. Um, the fall season was very productive and it was a lot of fun. It was a great glimpse into kind of like what college baseball is like. And I think myself and a lot of the other freshmen, really every guy on the team,
because of the great job that the coaches did, like we know exactly what we need to get better at. And that's all we can really ask for because now we're gonna start, um, we're gonna start doing live at bats again in February. So in February, we start doing, the pitchers will start going off the mound again. Our catchers will be catching bullpens. Um, and then once that gets going, we'll get into live at bats. This is, um, from what I've heard, like this is the um, important period where, right, like coaches, the coaches just want to see who's putting the barrel on the ball because once spring break comes, we go down to Arizona and then we're going to go play a series at Washington, Wash, Wash U in St. Louis. Um, so that'll be fun. But these live at bats are really getting ready for that live gameplay because once the snow melts, really even before that is when we start playing and start getting after it. So, um, yeah. That's the fall season and kind of what I know about this upcoming spring season. Um, and yeah, the facilities, much got to get everything that we need to become the best baseball players we can be. Thanks again for your question, Austin. Let me know if you guys have any more. Um, yeah, see you next time. Let's go! Come on, Henji. There you go, man. 90.3.